All right, we got ourselves another video from Mr. Anime World. This is called the best anime of each genre. I can't wait to piss everyone off with this video. Let's see it. First up, the best mecha anime, Code Geass. Now, we're only on a season one right now. I think we're about like 12 episodes deep. It's pretty good. It's really good. Now, is it the best mecha anime? Are people that watch Gundam gonna get pissed off about this? I think a lot of people unanimously love and adore Code Geass, so I think this may not be really a hot take. Darling in the Franks better? True, brother. True. Let's see the next one. Comedy. Gintama. Oh, the Konosubo enjoyers are gonna fucking be mad about this one. I haven't seen Gintama. It's a well-recognized and loved series, right? Very long-running, a lot of episodes. I'm not sure if we're ever gonna be able to cover it in our channel, but uh, I don't know, I've never seen it. Next up, Dark Fantasy Berserk. Now, that, <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't finished the story. Like, I know of it, but I also know how much people glaze this show. So I, yeah, probably, right? Next up. Ultome Isekai, my next life as a villainess. Yeah, this better than Mob Seca. I've only seen two Ultome Isekais, right? Level 99 villainess and Mob Seca. Maybe one day we can check this one out. This is the OG one. Got it. Oh, here's the anime that no one in my fucking community will let me watch while every other goddamn YouTube reaction channel fucking makes a Haikyuu reaction and gets 100k views. Nice, Haikyuu, look at that. Why do you motherfuckers hate this volleyball anime so much? Why can't we watch it on our channel? I hate you. Next up. Martial Arts. Baki. Yeah, people love Baki, right? P Baki, like, <laughs> that's a goofy fucking show if you look at random clips. Like, what's Baki really about? Is there not any other... I think there's a series called Kengen Ashura that I think was pretty hyped up with the manga. I'm not too sure how the anime is due to the CGI. Isn't there like a show called History's Strongest Disciple Kenichi? That's like an old, old, it's more, it's Battle Shonen with martial arts. I don't know. Baki, I think is a safe pick though. Next up, high stakes game. Mirai Nikki Future Diary. Yo, one day, one day, man. I, she has like that. She has the iconic Yandere face. That's pretty much all I know in that people die in this show and the soundtrack is wicked next drama we will never watch your lie in april we will never watch it unless it gets voted in if it wins a poll then i'll have to fucking watch it i already pretty know what the fuck this is about like this girl has a fucking terminal disease or some shit right and it's a fucking love story between these two and the fucking promises they have and the motivations and goals to fucking make music together and she fucking dies that's pretty much what it i don't want to see that it's gonna be sad stop it go away <laughs> harvachi yes i love high school dxd you're gonna tell me it's because there's a lot of titties and you know what you're right there is but the battle shown in elements, truly the hype that High School DXC creates and the way that it continues to stay true to its etchy themes and resolving every problem where Issei in this high stakes, you know, battle shown in moments, there's this dumbest moment regarding the etch. I think that it does it well. I think it does it amazing. There are times when the loot shit does break the immersion when it gets too serious, but I mean, it's a fucking etchy show. Like, what did you expect? That's what the whole show is about. I enjoy High School DxD. Hopefully, season five comes out. Next. Oh, yeah. Legend of the Galactic Heroes is one of those animes like Monster that people herald as like the perfect anime. Space, huh? I think there's a remake coming out. 110 episodes. I would love to watch it, but I don't think you guys could, uh... I don't think you, could, you guys could stomach the big brainness of this show that it seems like. Next. Otaku culture, Bakuman. Ain't this the manga about a mangaka? Like, it is the most meta shit because it's like a series about the industry itself. Next. Child, okay. Okay, these genres are no longer just being genre. What the fuck is a child carry genre? You know, I was willing to let go of 
high stakes game because that's not a fucking genre right I, I i think drama is a genre i think that space fiction is a genre haramechi otaku calls her name child care what other fucking anime deals with fucking <laughs> it's a great anime it's a great anime next up horror another hey this looks like kurumi from five years ago but uh another is this really the best horror anime out there is it really it looks scary honestly horror enemies i don't know i feel like they're not really that scary and no disrespect to the most recent horror anime that we watched which is dark gathering which i did enjoy it's just it's more disgusting and grotesque rather than scary i don't know next up Organized crime is a genre. Yeah, I, yeah, no, 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 no. In, in like Hollywood movies, right? There's like like heist movies, you know, you know, bank robberies and shit like this. I think organized crime maybe. Bungo Stray Dogs, 72 episodes. I would love to cover this, but remember, guys, y'all need to vote this shit. And this could be 72 episodes of peak we could be catching out, guys. Next up, Vinland Saga, historical genre. <laughs> what? Is it an accurate story of fucking Vikings? <laughs> I, I acknowledge that Vinland Saga is a beautiful series. Historical, is that the right category? He should have just called it Viking, bro. <laughs> just, 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 create, create, just create a genre called Vikings, bro. <laughs> Next up. Detective. Death Note, yeah. Big brain show, right? Big brain show of logical deductions and trying to figure out who the killers are or something. Death Note, yeah. Next. Are oh, you cheeky motherfucker? Are oh, you cheeky motherfucker? Before you gave comedy to Gintama, but this is not comedy. This is comedy isekai. Konosuba, here it is. I agree. I think comedy isekai. Konosuba is the comedy isekai, right? <laughs> so re zero doesn't count. Well. Time skate, there is a time travel element, right? And people love this shit, but what about ReZero? No, that's a time travel isekai. <laughs> Next up. Mystery. Higurashi when they cry. The poster picture for this. I would never guess that this is a mystery show. Looks like some bullshit slice of life, right? Just cute girls doing cute things, but... I know of Higurashi. I know of Umineko, right? So, like, honestly, we should play the visual games rather than actual watching the anime. Unless the anime is better. I'm not sure. Next. Wow. Not even just Battle Shonen. You're saying that this is the best of all Shonen. Now, that is quite an audacious claim. Remember, Battle Shonen is a subset of Shonen, right? I mean, One Piece is peak fiction. Absolutely. All of Shonen, though? It might be. I, I, I think that um, it's not an impossible or, or, or a... I think this is a feasible take. I don't know if it is the best Shonen anime, but I think that it's definitely competing for that category. Next up. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna do this shit, just fucking write the word pirate here. Ninja genre? <laughs> Come on, bro. I mean, if we're thinking about ninja genre, what other anime with ninjas, right? You think ninja, you think Naruto. So, and you put Naruto put it over regular Naruto? Fuck you. No, no. Regular Naruto, pre dimescape Naruto over them, bro. I'm down on that hill. Next up. Vampire! Helsing Ultimate. Another legendary old show, right? I don't really know anything about it. He just looks kind of creepy. And there's like this whole like killing element to it. Maybe one day we could watch it. Next. <laughs> wow. This might be even a more of an audacious claim than any than the Shonen Bracket. Because it's Slice of Life. So there's a lot of Slice of Life. There's an extremely a lot of slice of life anime, anime that are also just fucking amazing. But Mushishi is the slice of life, is it really? I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is that good, man. 
next parody yeah one punch man definitely is a parody anime right it is not taking itself seriously as saitama is the strongest being that one punches everything and story revolves more over the side characters and the threats surrounding him parody one punch man i love it for sure Because, like, again, the action tag could be put on fucking One Punch Man and many other fucking... Just call this thing Titans, bro. Just call this thing a fucking Titans genre. Attack on Titan, I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm not arguing, but, like... <laughs> you know? Next. <laughs> Meme genre. Meme genre. Jojo. It is... It, I don't think a meme genre exists. In fact, a parody and a meme could be similar enough to be considered, you know, because JoJo's, could you say it's a parody too? Maybe, there's a lot of memes of JoJo's though. Next. <laughs> school. <laughs> Not rom cop the school. <laughs> school tag. <laughs> I love Kaguya-sama. I think it's probably the best rom cop but school tag, school genre? <laughs> All right. Alright, fuck it, fuck it, alright. Best school anime, guys, Kaguya-sama. Best school anime. Next up. <laughs> demons. Yeah, my favorite genre, demons, bro. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Demon Slayer, I agree. I agree. <laughs> These are battle shonens, brother. <laughs> demons. Next up. <laughs> Video game, yeah! <laughs> Video game genre, yeah! SAO, I mean... What is, what is SAO genre? I still think that SAO is isekai, bro. If you consider an isekai, which is the literal definition in Japanese word of other world, and a full dive world is another world, then yeah, SAO, yeah, fuck it! Fuck it, let's go! Next, survival! Why did you just put zombies here? But why put survival? There's a lot of other survival animes too. I say Mirai Nikki is a survival game too, right? High School of the Dead. Great zombie anime. I'm sad. I'm glad that we covered season one as a Patreon exclusive, but I'm also sad that like the author died and there's no more High School of the Dead. And now it's just like, oh man, I got so into the world and there's no more content. It is what it is. Rest in peace, author. Well, cyberpunk is a genre. Well, it seems mean, but cyberpunk is a... No, no, straight up. When people call things like steampunk, cyberpunk, like, it, it, it is a category. And, like, no, straight up, like, unironically. Like, you think that this is a meme, but not really. Cyberpunk is a genre. And, yeah, I mean, this it's the only fucking cyberpunk anime. So. Well, like... What other like futuristic like basically cyberpunk means like futuristic mecha not mecha but futuristic like technology mech world right psychopaths yeah psychopaths is like you know cyberpunk right stuff like that next up maho shoujo yeah magical girls is a genre and madoka definitely is heralded as one of the greats right Gushing over Magical Girls is an ecchi maho shoujo. Next up. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Power. Bro, it's a battle shonen. It is the grandfather of all battle shonen. Superpower genre? All these motherfuckers got superpowers. All right, whatever. Sure, I agree. I agree. Oh. Adventure. Adventure genre. Adventure is a genre. Discovery, adventure. Like, would you consider Frieden an adventure genre? I would. I would. I guess so. Made in Abyss is also an adventure, but it's more... I would say the Made in Abyss is more of like a fucking... There's a lot of different genres that make it up. Horror is definitely in there, but... Okay. Adventure. Hunter Hunter. Next. So you telling me that the best romance anime is Fruits Basket and not Kaguya-sama. Because Kaguya-sama is a school anime, not a romance anime. Alright. Alright. Next. 
Gorm. <laughs> better than better than uh, food wars. What is Gorm? Well, food war. This is gourmet though. It's not regular food. It's gourmet food only. I think. Uh, is food wars all gourmet food? I think Toriko is more accurately a battle shonen with the driving force being gourmet food, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. Next up. Fantasy. Frieden. Yes. I don't like fantasy. It should be called Native Isekai. But Frieden, absolutely. Great, great anime. Educational. Now, I hear Dr. Stone does approach everything in a very pseudoscience way where everything has a reason and you can actually learn. So, like, educational genre, I'm not sure if that's an actual thing, but... For sure, I can acknowledge that, like, this show could be educational. Oh! Monster showed up! Psychological. Is Monster the most psychological anime ever? Honestly, I think the psychological is a broad brush. Every anime has psychology, right? I think that... Like, like, straight up, every anime, you can try to understand the motives and the incentive of each character. And what are you doing? You're analyzing their psychology, right? You're, you're basically just... <laughs> you're psychoanalyzing them. ReZero, you could say, is a psychological anime. I'm trying to understand Subaru's mentality and how he perceives the world, right? Anytime you try to think from a character's perspective, you can apply psychology. It's not just like only psycho like psychological genres have psychology. No, it's just like... It's just a theme that exists in every anime. But is Monster one of the greatest psychological enemies? I don't know. I've never seen it. Never seen it. But I do hear it's fucking amazing. No. I don't think Mushoku Tensei is my favorite isekai, but I think ReZero is straight up. I can recognize that Mushoku Tensei is one of the great isekais. But despite only seeing 12 episodes of ReZero, I like it more. Now, that's a personal bias, because I don't like Rudy. But I can still acknowledge that Mushoku Tensei is an amazing series that probably could be contention for number one spot. But how do you really quantify that? How does one determine whether something is a number one spot or not? You can't. Every fucking monkey retard out there is giving their opinions, right? Myself included. These are simply opinions based on preferences, and everyone has their own inherent bias. That's why you can never say something is definitive number one. That's bullshit. Who are you to judge what I enjoy, right? Therefore, ReZero is my favorite isekai. However, I can definitely understand why people will say Mushoku Tensei is their favorite isekais. No <laughs> So there's a summoning isekai and a reincarnation isekai. Well, if we're going to talk about summoning isekai, then I put ReZero here. I put ReZero here. And yes, when we're talking about reincarnation part, I agree. Yes, if we're talking specifically about isekais where people get reincarnated, then yeah, Mushoku Tensei probably is. Tensura versus... Tensura versus... And I think that ReZero is coming up here. This is ba this is Betty. Yeah, this is Betty Stockings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ReZero is showing up. <laughs> Reezer, I wonder what kind of category ReZero is gonna be. <laughs> but um, do I do I like do I like Tensura or Mushoku Tensei better? With the advent of season three Tensura, I think that the in terms of the ugh, Mushoku Tensei is probably better. Tensura is so fun though. But it's just like the anime is just yapping too much and just having too much fucking filler and... It's not filler though, because you need to do setup for the next set. Who knows what's gonna... Maybe... Because like right now, I think a lot of people's... Has a negative opinion for Tensurip due to the recency bias with the way Apex Studios handle Season 3 adaptation. But a lot of people are also hyping up Season 4 content to be just on another fucking level. And then people's perception on Tensurip will change next... Like whenever Season 4 shows up. 100% I'm calling it. This is probably the lowest point of Tensura reputation in terms of how people, you know, rate it due to against recency effect. But when season four comes out, and if it truly is that good, again, it might be trash, but if truly season four is that good, 
if it has that stakes and you know the hype that season one and two delivered i could totally see people you know flipping the script but right now mushoku tensei mushoku tensei season two ending was phenomenal right season two was fucking part one with the i can't i Academy arc. I don't want to say mid, but maybe it was mid. Maybe we spent too much time there. But even the low parts of Mushoku Tensei at the Academy arc might be more entertaining than the low parts of Tensei right now, which is an interesting thing to think about. I don't know. But uh, anyways, we're not talking about Tensei. We're talking about fucking ReZero. We're talking about fucking No Game No Life. And I think that ReZero should be the summoning one. Because Subaru... Well, the word summon is ambiguous, right? Because, like, for example, in Tensura, Hinata did not get summoned. Shizu did get summoned. Hinata simply just wandered into that realm, right? It's not really a summon. And I don't know if Subaru got summoned. So by the semantics of this, let's exclude ReZero, all right? And in that case, I'm going to give this slot to So I'm a Spider, So What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My favorite summoning isekai is So I'm a Spider, So What? And you're gonna say the CGI sucks? And yes, I agree. But the story is so fucking good that it's even... Like, despite the CGI being that bad, I am giving that high of a rating due to the story. Spider, isekai, peak summoning. Yup. Next up. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> you just making shit up, bro. You just, I mean, we, we've been, I mean, how many videos have you got watched from this guy's channel? Every fucking video is just cap. It's just for entertainment. Suffering Isekai? Yeah, he's suffering. Yeah, he's suffering. Is there no one else that suffers as much as him, though, in an Isekai? Like, Subaru's entire existence is suffering. Straight up. Because, like, he can't even fucking die. And then you can just, like, empty your mind. No. <laughs> You're, there's no escape. Your entire existence is trying to get through these turmoils and troubles and you suffer and you die and you repeat and over and over. And there's some moments of happiness, but there's more moments of just despair. And for an isekai, have we ever seen another isekai where a person was this much suffering? Nah, Rudy doesn't even come close, bro. <laughs> Rudy's suffering is... Okay, this is the way I see it. Rudy and Mushoku Tensei could not fucking survive in ReZero. And you're gonna say, shut the fuck up! Rudy has magic! He, he could clear everybody! And yes, in terms of power scaling and what Rudy can do with his magic, absolutely. But I'm talking from like, when you guys get summoned in here, and you and with the baggage that Rudy has with the fucking trauma, bro is not making out of the first fucking loof. Bro couldn't even step out of the fucking house until Roxy showed up and had to drag us out on that horse, bro. Subaru is dealing with shit that Rudy cannot even fucking comprehend. You're gonna say, oh, you don't know, he he got bullied so hard back in real life, and oh, he was such a hikikomori. Shut the fuck up. Rudy just sad about fucking his past and his trauma and all the little, you know, little trauma he has. Shut the fuck up, bro. You see the shit that fucking Subaru has to go through in episode 7? Rudy could never fucking survive this shit. Yes, I acknowledge his powers could clear the ReZero burst. But if you're talking about the mental state that Rudy needs to have to clear these loops, absolutely fucking not, bro. Not even fucking close. Rudy out there talking about his fucking feelings. Like, oh, I can't stay part of the house. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. And that's kind of why I like Subaru more. But here's the thing. We've seen two seasons of Mushoku Tensei. We've only seen 12 episodes of uh, ReZero. And we don't know exactly the shitty versions of Subaru just yet. We've seen a lot of cringe moments, but we haven't seen absolute bottom barrel Subaru. And by then, maybe I'll change my mind. But regarding Mushoku Tensei and ReZero, and again, this is not like an objective rating. There is no fucking objective number one. Who am I or who are you to tell me that this is the best anime in these genres? No, these are all our personal preferences and everyone has different parameters that they value and how they convince themselves that this anime is their best or favorite. 
And I just enjoy ReZero more. Everything about ReZero is just more compelling than Mushoku Tensei. Doesn't mean Mushoku Tensei is bad. Mushoku Tensei is an amazing fucking anime. But what ReZero is delivering to me right now is touching me on a level that Mushoku Tensei never has. And I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it. And that's the video so far today from Mr. Anime World. And guys, if you go to these channels and you send hate, listen, most of it is just for entertainment and cap. If you go out and stay, start saying dumb shit, I'm a fucking ban your ass monkey. See you on the next one.